Once the Prophet وسلم, was sitting, very distressed, hazin, full of worry, concern, his face was full of blood. All around you could see bruises. Because what, of, what the people of Makkah had done to him, physically abused him, emotionally destroyed him. Fajah Jibreel and his best friend shows up and he says, What's going on? What happened to you? Why are you bleeding for? Why do you look so distressed? A friend to another friend. You have to imagine that Jibreel is a friend to the Prophet. Not imagine, you have to believe that seeing your best friend bleeding, crying, suffering, and now you have to help him? What happened? The Prophet ﷺ says to his friend Jibreel, the people of Makkah did this and did this and did this, and he started to name all the forms of oppression that he had to face from the people of Makkah. The Jibreel ﷺ says, really, they did all of this? And then he says, Ala urika ayah. Can I show you a sign, something that's supernatural, just to like take your mind off of the pain and the suffering? And uh, the Prophet ﷺ says, Naam, Adini, show me something. Like, I really, like at this point, I just need to get my mind off of all this pain. Jibreel salam says to his friend, look at this relationship. He says, see that tree right there? Ud'u, call that tree. The Prophet salam says, okay. He fada'aha. And the Prophet salam says to the shajara, come here, the tree, come here. The tree rips through the ground. Faj'ala khaddu al-arda khadda. It starts to rip through, the roots start ripping through the ground and it literally stands in front of the Prophet Muhammad All the pain that he's going through, now this amazing, you know, powerful experience. Prophet is going to remember this and think about the experience that he had with Jibreel now. And then he says to the Prophet, tell the tree to go back. And then the Prophet says, go back to your roots, where you started from. And the tree literally goes back to where it stands. This is a very interesting experience. Because typically when, you know, when you're talking to a friend, you see them stressed, you see them full of pain, you see them crying, you see them bleeding, and you, you're not supposed to tell them not to cry. You're not supposed to tell them not to suffer. But at the same time, you have to give them comfort. So you take them, you distract them a little bit. And here, Jibreel is showing the Prophet Wasallam, let me tell you who, who you are. I mean, even though the people of Makkah have not valued you, the world is at the tip of your fingers. The trees are ready to move for you. Know your self-worth. I love you. Allah loves you. And the trees and the plants of this world respect you. So don't lose any confidence and know that we're behind you. What a friend to have in times of distress.